what is today? December 16th? 15, I think. 15? I think it's 16. <laughs> you know, if we had a calendar, this wouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah, but that's what the phone's for. Go to the technology first. It's never wrong. It's never wrong. Never wrong. That's going to be the blog opener. Oh, I'm zoomed in still, so I probably got a really good close-up of my nose. You're right, it's the 16th. Hells yeah! <laughs> I like my little little tripod thing. It makes me feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm a little higher than that. A little taller than you actually are? Yep. Okay, here we go. December 16th, and I'm back in my little cavely area. Cavely cave. area. I call this the cave. Okay, I we're call in the, the lab, cave. The, the lab, and then on the road is whenever I'm not, not home. in one of those two locations. Okay. So I'm with my wonderful wife. Hi. And my wife plays lots of Xbox. Lots of Xbox. The stool was provided for my comfort, but it hurts <laughs> my ass. And so she she has gummed up her her Xbox controller quite effectively. Like the start. The the I, I've been playing Mass Effect, and Shepard likes to lean to the to the left. Well, we may not be able to fix that. That might be like a calibration issue. Well, so. here's the thing: these are smooth. They're supposed to have. They're supposed bumps to have on. little bumpies on them, <laughs> and then Bill was kind of disgusted by um, the dirt. Yeah, I don't know if this is coming through really well. Maybe if I bring the light in really close, you can see that I was scratching you it off. discolored it. This is smooth it's instead of textured. Yeah, yeah, so because my wife has like massive like <gasps> grip and so yeah. you've kind of, you've worn and like, oh, death yeah. grip on the, on the controller. So we're going to open up the controller and with some nice alcohol we're gonna don't drink this children it kills people actually it makes you go blind but um oh. which i guess could lead to your death if there are trains or cars nearby yeah i don't want to battery's wanna about die. to die damn it anyways so we're gonna we're gonna open this up and i guess play around with it a little bit and clean it and put it back together and hopefully it'll work better yep we'll be back so now with another battery uh, we're, we're getting ready here, and Shannon was fussing with it. And turned the Xbox on. Yeah, You're totally oops. Blown out. At this point... There we is go. Is that better? At now, this point, my controller still works because I just accidentally turned on the Xbox. <laughs> okay, lady. All right, go ahead and just take the... Let's take the batteries or shut off the Xbox somehow. I don't... You've been playing far too much Xbox when you're like, the screen isn't on, and you're like, I can turn it I off. I can turn it off. So... So let's take the batteries out. Okay, take the batteries out. That was the first step. So and so the first kind of annoying part is the fact the screws, right? The screws are yeah. I uh, I have a picture. <coughs> I have a picture of it, but they're security torque screws. I yeah, don't they, exactly know the name of it. I say it's one of the the star variety, Which except thing? that there's a. It's called a torque. A torque. It's a torque. Oh, I'm learning things today. Okay. But there's a pinhole that comes up. Right. So you can't put the. You can't use a standard can't use torque. A standard torque. But as I've always said, it's like there's no real sense in in really securing your products because somebody wants to get into them. We'll find a way to get into them, and so this wonderful little security torque is is overcome with what? I've got a. This one is a five sixty four flathead. Flathead screwdriver. Screwdriver, and I believe that I can get the screws out. So. so so do it. Do it. We'll get the epic shot of the screw removal. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many screws are there? Six. There's six. Ten, at least it's well held together. And I'm going across, not completely across the star. Right. I'm going... You're not going to be able to. It's just, yeah. You're just going to have to... Basically, you're just wedging it in there and just cracking it, so... Well, it's come that far. You can see the head come out. <laughs> I'll just keep working them. Although, I can already see metal flakes from... Eh, who cares? I mean, in all honesty, if this... Yeah. <laughs> We hope we can repair this controller and clean it up and make it nice. But if it doesn't, we're just going to get a different one. I mean, 
We've had these controllers for years now. Yeah, we've had the controllers we, since they, we bought the Xbox. So they've kind of more than already, I don't want to say paid for themselves because we didn't make any money off of them, but... They've you know, gotten their... They, we've gotten the value of them out. Now, these, the one that I took out is the closest to where the battery is, and it's the shallowest. Okay. Whereas these two are deeper in. Sure. Which is why I needed more light to hopefully be able more to... More light. Remember, remember, kids, do try this at home. Wow, I just blinded everybody as the iris did not keep up with the light transition. I like how your fingernail is painted with the N7, and that's... How appropriate, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe was, I'll use that as the opening shot for the... I was playing with nail polish and thought that I would try. Two. Cups. Always put stuff in cups. Because screws roll. <laughs> I make a terrible cameraman. <clears throat> Why do you make a terrible cameraman? Because you're not actually watching. Because I, I, I don't know. I imagine I make a terrible cameraman. I don't know. So, it's just trying to get the screwdriver in. I'm left to wanna. This one wanted to fight me. Oh, there we go. Which I'd almost think that it would be smarter that when we put this back together now that we're thinking about it, now that I'm thinking about it, that we should get just regular, like, Phillips screws to put in. And but that would require leaving the cave. And we've already left the cave. I know, but breakfast is one thing. <laughs> The thing that's going to be sad about this is I think we're probably going to actually have to crack a clip to get this open. Well, I, I doubt that it's just six screws that hold this together because you typically don't design something molded like this without putting in little locking features and things. Well, I might be presently, you know, presently, ugh, presently, pleasantly surprised that I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Okay. Six screws. Six screws are out. Now, can we pull it apart? Okay. Um, before we go all Rambo on it here, I don't look think... at the label in the center battery compartment and let's in because they love to like hide, th hide is put like screws underneath things. And you can kind of like just scratch at it, and if you can find like a little dip in it, it's a good sign that there's like a little, there might be a screw or something. Any luck? I thought that it was. Okay, there may not be. Like I said, again, it might just be molded clips that are holding it together. So I would start at, yeah, I'm just kind of, I'd get a bigger screwdriver. Is that working? I mean... Yeah, getting a bigger flathead oh, will give you better good. spreading on it because you'll tear the plastic up. Yeah, like I did right there. Okay, go ahead and switch to the other side and, you know, work it. How many years have we had these? I don't have any idea, honestly. <laughs> Long enough that, that gamer sweat has, has set in.
Well, it kind of looks like you don't, you, you got it. I mean, you almost like you just gotta, like, go a little brutal on it and just brrrg it. <clears throat> It feels like it's something in here. Okay. Well, you might want to like work here along on this. With, yeah. I I have a request. Huh. In the bathroom, there's some bobby pins in the container. I can put a bobby pin in to hold it open. Just don't force it in, just sluts. Not working for you, huh? No. I don't know if the bobby pin's gonna be any better, but. There. I'll try and put it at the work area there while I go run and get bobby pins. <clears throat> uh, where are they? In the container that's got all my earrings in it. It's like you don't have enough to... I'm having a hard time finding something to grab onto. That's my problem. Mm. But it seems like the top part where... I almost am feeling certain there's something else holding it. Together? Just There's too much of a, like, a bend. Well, maybe there is a screw. <clears throat> Peel the label off. That is just a plastic clip somewhere, and we're gonna have to crack it to to get it to release or something. But Looks like there's something, but it's not. Uh, maybe it's the the trigger. Wow, it really does not want to come apart. <laughs> yeah, forget, forget it. There's nothing there. I don't. Well, whatever it was is what's right there, which makes me wonder if there's something under the button. Maybe, but so maybe it's more we just need to remove the top, not the bottom. Mm. It's never as easy as it says online. <laughs> oh, that. I love you're using bobby pins there, dear. We're so, we're, we're so technically minded in, in this uh, in this endeavor. Well, something if it helps. Whoa! <laughs> Camera down. Been violated. Wow. What is holding it? Uh -oh. Find an open piece and work from the opening toward it. Don't worry about that yet. 
we're gonna clean her up all nice and fancy. where you pry, dear. There are electronics in there and functional pieces that don't want to damage. Well, you can see some of it already, but... You can point the camera at me while I struggle over here. I love crotch shots of Bill. You say there might be enough now that you can... Well, I'm afraid I'm just going to crush it, like, because right now I'm pulling on it, and there's the rumble pack piece, and it's loose. That's what's actually, this is setting on right now. Okay. The, the I don't pack. understand why it's not just coming apart. Well, do we need to do some more research and then try? Man, I guarantee you there's a little plastic clip somewhere. It's just being a little bitch. Comes apart. <laughs> wow. I mean, well, uh, do we try taking the label out and see if there is something there? There's nothing under this label. Nothing there. Ah. There was another screw. I mean. <laughs> Underneath where the barcode was. Yep. That's not, this is grinding it. You got it out with this thing? Yeah, do you want me to do it? Yeah, because I'm failing. That's a small one. I need it was what the five. This one. Well, hopefully we didn't break it by trying to open it. <laughs> well. Yeah, if so, right? Then I get to find a red one. They don't make colored ones anymore. They all they make is white, I think. They might make a black one now to match the black Xbox, but Now it'll probably just fall apart. <laughs> yep. I hate screws on their labels. Well, it was probably there for a reason. Yeah, to hold it, the center together. Oh well. All so, we've done is, is take the, the Microsoft labels off. Oh well. Okay, oh, gee, that hide under the battery compartment. Yeah. Okay, so we got that so, off. So, it's a there... Here is <clears throat> the screw that if you're taking it apart that you're not going to see. It hides under the label. It, there's a barcode label, and it's right underneath that. That was what was preventing us from actually physically getting it apart. So, so, so there's the bottom. There's the bottom. And that will get all cleaned up. So you've got the two. Are those in their correct positions? No, I think this... Was supposed to go like that. Okay, and so those are, and those are the rumble. So we got the, you got the rumble packs, there and there. Battery, which then probably. Um, well, this is the coil for the batteries, and that's the connection ba for battery connection. That part right so there. Wonderful little process. That's probably right there. Is some kind of transmitter. Get my own light. Transmitter, some kind of processor. Be kind of cool to, if I could get a good shot of the. The actual chips on it. Well, I can actually 
read the fact that there is something now. Okay. I can't I can't get a good shot because the camera won't. I can't get in its own way. I keep getting in its own light. Microsoft Which one? X this one. The little the little one. Okay. The little one. It says Microsoft Xbox nineteen ninety-nine dash zero zero one UVQ seven two two. And then it's VM O six four eight A S one. Huh. It means nothing to me. But any other this one here. The, the bigger one. The bigger one of the two. As Microsoft X oh, X eight zero nineteen ninety seven zero zero three AT zero seven two six T seven two zero one nine eight dot one eight. Huh. And that's some really proprietary tiny. little. Okay, that's fine. It's. Uh, I'm sure that somebody's already done a very detailed analysis on all of the Xbox pieces. So let's get the rest of it out of there so we can just clean the damn thing up. Yep. Um. Do yeah. We should be able to unplug the rumble rumblers. might take a screwdriver just like a flat slot and just slide it in there and pop it you don't want to pull in the wires because the wires can just pull I'm out. trying to pull the thing that's holding the wires that's in. what I'm saying take like a flat and put it in between the two and just turn it I can't really do both no mm -mm. Well, there's a... It's starting to come out. You just got to work both sides. Well, the problem is is that there's... It's a flat piece, and then there's a little notch, and uh -huh. when I go to turn the screwdriver in it, it falls into the notch. So there's nothing to get leverage on the side because there's... Oh, oh I see. ...a little cutout right there. Then you could always do the, the insert it with your thumb and pull up. Mm -hmm. just the hell out of it. One rumbler. Okay, so do I need to keep these separate in this I one? I doubt it. I mean... They're two different sizes. Oh, are they? That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Why would they be two... I guess maybe to create a different vibrating pad. Are they really two different? Yeah. <laughs> Significantly. I was holding it like in a different perspective and looking at it. I'm like, they're the same size. Okay, so okay. that one came off the one that says So that's right. right. The right is smaller than left. That's pretty interesting. I would have never guessed that they they changed the flywheel size. That there's two size. different sizes. Yeah, that's actually kind of okay. interesting. Okay, and the big one then is on the left. The left. Okay. Oh, the buttons have like no <laughs> no well, pushback. Yeah. Well, because they're disconnected. So now what we probably need to find is screws on that board that uh, that hold it to the plastic top. I see no screws. Uh, I have a funny feeling that those are going to have to be pinched together. That's possible. And I think that's connected to that part. That's probably part of the, the board itself. Because that makes sense from a manufacturing point of view. Well, maybe... thinking that this this piece I think is connected to all this okay. I agree with partly with your statement there oh. I can see some alignment pins not held in. I see that there's a piece over here that's been... Hmm. What? Piece of cord? No. <laughs> what? Just, 
Now there's a piece of plastic here that's discolored from trying to get bent, and this is... Your fingernail. My fingernail. You cracked a fingernail. You broke a nail! Yup. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I hate to stick a screwdriver under there and try to pry it. Well, as long but... as you stick to the edge, like right here. This... I mean, it should come out. I mean, there's an alignment piece right there. Mm hmm And that's probably what's actually not trying not bend the coils. Um, I mean, it's a friction probably holding it in place. Oh, because of this piece is coming through right there. Right. And so it's just a matter of getting it to let go of there. I think, because it's... Well, there's one here and one here, too, then. Mm. No, those are fine. Those are alignment pins. Oh, okay. So we're... Apparently, my camera turns off at 15 minutes. <clears throat> so, basically, I would remove everything and start with the... You know, start carefully just clean everything with alcohol and wipe it down and... I think this might be kind of stuck. The D-pad? Yeah. And I say that because I can see there's two screws in there. Okay. I mean, for our purposes, it probably can stay there. Yeah, and that's, I mean, the outside's everything else more is dirty than... Everything else is out, which is... So <laughs> here's the front. Which would, this would be like a prime time to paint the damn thing if we wanted to. Overall, something just fell out. The back button. Good. So we can clean all the holes if you can get the other one out too. There you go. Now we can clean all the holes and the surfaces and whatnot and then reassemble. So we had to cut away because the camera got filled again. Even though it has an 8 gig thing in it, it just clogs up quickly. So so Shannon has finished cleaning all of the buttons. Which, there was a couple of cool things to, to maybe note about that. Okay. Um, well, I put them all in and they're all in backwards. You mean they're all, the whole thing's upside down. Right. But, 
the Xbox button is actually two separate pieces, which I thought was kind of cool because Oh, is that better? Two separate pieces because when it's working, it'll light up the ring of which controller you are. Here, put it right about there. -ish. So, and you can kind of see on the side how it breaks up the individual. That's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, it's two separate pieces. It makes me think it's like a two-stage molding process for that one ring. But the other thing is, is you can kind of see there's a notch here. And then there's a not, another notch here. It's how the buttons fit in. So you can't put it in the wrong direction. That's pretty cool. Which is also <laughs> what they did. Like here, I'm trying to put it in, and it won't slide all the way down. So if you turn it over, it will maybe. Oops, maybe it is the right way. Nope. There. It'll actually sit in the place that it's supposed to. But all of the buttons themselves, you can see here, there, and then there's another one on this side. There's little notches that mm -hmm. fit into yeah, I mean, the controller. You, you so you that. can't put it in the wrong way, and that and they don't twist in their home. Right. I mean, that's, I mean, that's good manufacturing and ability, I so guess. So I have... All of the buttons themselves cleaned. All the buttons are cleaned. All the buttons are cleaned. And they're all smooth operating. And they all they, they are definitely seeming to be much smoother than what they were as long as they don't pop out. And I wanted to make the comment as I looked at these. <laughs> yeah. These are the two Your analog sticks. My analog sticks. Oh try to sit down. Here. And I was looking at them and you can see that they're kind of disformed. Let's see if I can do kind we'll of hold a... it parallel to the. Yeah, here, just you stay, and I'll move. Okay. Yeah, you can see they're a little bit angled, <laughs> both of them. So you've worn them. Well, in here you can almost see how it's. Well, there's like... so... where'd mine go? You're... So you're supposed to the analog sticks. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but you can see tiny little bumps on it and that's supposed to just kind of be I don't know nicety for texture Shannon has worn hers off now mine are starting to wear off but hers this didn't one's a even exist worse. they're completely gone yeah I guess they don't last for but you can still see some of you the you can bump. still see that there's a bump yours are freaking gone my wife is like a torture to technology literally she's she has keyboards that like just dissolve in front of her I, I have my, my first keyboard that I ever had was for a Hewlett Packard computer. And somebody that I know got me into EverQuest. So yeah, I played, that's my fault somehow. Yeah. So I was, I'd play EverQuest and you know, you're sitting there talking to people. There are crescent shaped marks in the keys from my fingernails. Yeah. The you... keys are, I'd say by what, 10 of the keys are actually rubbed smooth from me using it so much. Yeah that you, the letters are gone. Yeah, I've never really seen anybody wear the letters off of a keyboard, but like, like as my joke went earlier today, my wife, I think, computes kind of like caveman typing, just like, because they're just like destroyed. So you're wearing out analog sticks now. I'm now wearing out analog sticks, which I have not cleaned yet because okay. I wanted to show the fact the that fact they're that not. you're destroying them. Yeah. I might be able to just dip them and rub on them. But I was looking at the, the the actual physical buttons. The membrane. Yes, this is there's the the four X Y A and B and the start and the Xbox and the back or whichever order they're in. But yeah, they're actually the buttons, and you can push them down. That's mm -hmm. it's a pretty common. And then trick. stay put. Okay. I was looking at this, mm -hmm. and then that's where. They're actually making the connection, right? Saying which I thought was kind of cool. Well, then actually, probably this. Just looking at that. Uh huh. Th oh yeah, right there. You see the little black dot in it. Yeah. That's conductive. So that, when that the conductor touches a conductor, then it's it triggers it to say you touched a button. You push me as a button. So yeah, that's actually really cool molding. And it's actually a little hard piece in there. That's actually really cool. I mean. <laughs> 
you know, as much as Xbox sucks or whatever, it's one of those things where put together, this thing's actually pretty cool. And now I'm looking at your analog sticks, and is that a screw on it or something? Where? Oh, I, because your you, your your big complaint is Shepard makes us left step just every single kinda, time. It'll, she'll be doing her thing, and then all of a sudden she just turns and starts wanting to go left. Yeah, the whole thing drifts all the time, and I've used it. And it's like, it reminds me of like trying to play multiplayer games on a 56k modem where things just jump sometimes. I don't know who all. Will I'll get let that. you look at that, and I will continue but to clean. Just makes me the membranes. Makes me curious if there's like an adjust screw. I don't really see any screws that can be adjusted. Because it is, you know, I mean, it's where the world goes from analog to digital. So, you know, there's a chance there's something, but really, I don't know. What the hell? Oh, oh, that's the button. That's kind of cool. There's a little, this is a pretty cool little mechanic. This whole thing actually really impresses me. But the when you press down... On the analog stick, it transfers to this little peg nearby, which then pushes this tiny little micro switch right nearby. That, in my world, is damn cool. Because <laughs> that, that, that's like, that's a very cool electrical mechanical thought process. That's really cool. A little micro switch gets pushed by this little peg that sticks out. That's pretty cool. So, I'm going to, I'm going to put this back on a tripod so I can... Do some more time lapsing stuff. wrap this up because the battery is dying, but she's going to continue to clean on and off and we'll come back for assembly. Well, after a short break and some charged up batteries and dumped cameras and stuff, we're ready to put the, the uh, controller back together. We got all the parts cleaned up and the, the, you know, the top of it has been reconstructed with all of its buttons in place. And whatnot. I'll have to figure out about these guys, but aren't they the same? I think so. There is a notch, so they're gonna have to fit in there before I can put. I mean, they'll well, fit through. Really, you gotta put them in. <clears throat> well, they'll fit through this regardless. So I actually have to attach them to that piece. Oh, you wanna put them on the their actual? Yeah, I think so. Okay, but I do remember that this thing. 
was actually in place first. You know, these two, the plastic membranes were actually in, <coughs> excuse me, in their little cubby holes, respect, you know, respectively. Is that one lined up right? Well, it has its... Its own little orientation piece. Yeah. Cool. And then, I don't know if you can put the motors in yet. I th don't those go there? Yeah, they go there. because they put So the next part's actually that guy. Or, <clears throat> might have to uh, affix the analog sticks first. Although, I will say this before you do that. We did find out the little leaning to the left thing for Shannon's controller is seems to be a kind of a common problem. And people have fixed the problem by putting rubber bands on and doing stuff like that. It seems like there should be a calibration mode, but there isn't one. I don't know if anybody knows of anything out there, but if you find something, let me know. Okay, so you're, you're putting the analog sticks on the board first. Yep, and I think I put them on the right side because I can see this is kind of curving <coughs> that way and this one's curving. Because <laughs> you've worn them. So I'm going to make the assumption that they are in their proper orientation. Cool. So. Okay. Then that guy and this guy come together. Does this need to go in first? The little bumper? Yep. Because he... Because he fits in over over these, there's two posts, one Oops. there and one there that he has to fit on. <laughs> Trying to keep up with you, but you moved. I'm going to assume because the buttons are sitting low that once we get them, once it comes together a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, the screws will help pop everything into place. Yeah. It will actually be the mechanical holding force. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And then does this guy go in? The... Um, I can't set him down because he's going to push back through. So I need something to cradle. Can you set him on that? Probably not very securely though, right? I could provide some fingers. Okay, I think that's... <laughs> and... Yeah, don't forget your rumblers. Yeah. A little one to the left. As I'm looking at it, so that would be this side. To your left. So That side. I don't think it matters, honestly, as long as they're in there and can, I mean, the different size is just so they don't fall into synchronization with each other and you, you end up with a bounce instead of a vibrate. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I have the black lung. Nah. No, just the start of a cold. Probably. So just as it came apart, it was plugging into the little connect. Uh, if I can get in here. Okay. I don't know how well it's. It will only go in one way and it'll go until it goes. Okay. And that's all you get. <clears throat> you need a hand or. No, I'm trying to be nice for you. Oh, thank you. But it's such a small little piece that... So it looks like the kind of connector we use in our radio sounds, actually. So now I got the little rumble. Now I'm going to tuck the cables in. Oop, I bumped the camera. It's kind of... I shouldn't have to tuck them in too much, but just so that the plastic doesn't pinch them. Because you're going to get a little surround around the, the motor, actually. Okay. It goes in right, and it's going to zip across the top of those. Okay, so is that... Do they look like they're... And uh, looks good from here. I, I would call that reasonably clear. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so... Do I need to worry about where, where that gap is? No, those are... The, the, this little 
insulation portion, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. is just something to, because it's actually, the molding is probably actually smaller. Okay. And so it's going to, quote unquote, bite into this insulation a little bit so that it holds it in place firmly. Okay. Well, I just. No, I'm telling you the orientation of the motor. Does not make it, any it, difference. It, one is going to help keep it in place. Two, it's going to keep it from spinning when it spins. I would probably go with the trigger pieces in first. Battery closed. They actually have to fit in the slots in the plastic housing. Well, it's hard because I. There we go. There you go. Give her a good old squeeze over her. Everything should. Close up and look nice and tight. <clears throat> I mean, it's not going to hold together, Shannon, because the screws are really what's going to do it. Right. But it should definitely be all one chunk. Okay, I think. Okay. You ready for screws? Yep, I think so. Let's go for it. are you? Too small. Too big. I like our little screwdriver case we bought. I think those are pretty cool. <clears throat> if it doesn't really feel like it's going properly, don't force it because it could be you've crossed it. Yeah. Probably could have just bought the proper security torque, but uh, it's not going to be countersunk very much because it's going to because that one gets hi hidden. Okay, right. Is there any proper way to put these in? Nope, just drive them home. Okay. <clears throat> Man, typically when I reassemble something though, I don't tighten everything down massively. It's like I just get everything in there and, until it's, it, I get them down there close and then I final tighten them. <clears throat> just because alignment issues, but I don't think that's really a problem here. Well, it feels like everything's snapped together pretty tight. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's so... perfectly fine. It's just, you know, because when you're going to make a million things, you're, you're paying a lot for tolerance, really, you're, you know. Or sorry, you're you're not paying a lot for tolerance. You're just gonna get it because your mold's gonna be right and fancy dancy and all. Oh, I think I figured out what these flat part parts are. I don't know if you what can see flat? right here, right there, and one right there. If you hold, yeah. It's from. It's wear wear marks from it sitting on a table. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we have had, we've had these controllers a quite a long time. I've been quite, we, other than yours has this left drift thing to it that sounds like a lot of people have actually had a problem with. And, and it's even funny like funny that it's the left. It's it, not like it's a right drift. If it it's, had some kind of internal calibration or a calibration you could trigger from the system, that would make it fixable probably through software, but... 
the the unfortunate thing is it's like they are what they are you know, I guess <clears throat> maybe they're afraid people would calibrate them too much I don't know but no why why spend money on calibrating something when you can just buy a new one it's true, but the, the statements I was reading was like some people would buy them and like two months later they'd be broken again. Or they'd have the problem within like two months. So, you know, I mean, I don't really know what to say there, but I mean, it's just a dual resistance pot that controls the analog reads. I mean, in theory, it could be replaced, but in theory... There's a lot, you know, in theory, I could go spend money and buy a new one, too, so. I'm <coughs> sorry about this. Too much dust I've consumed. Stupid dust. Cleaning up the master control area has uh, been detrimental to my lungs. That or I have a cold. Or both. Is that it? That would be it. And that is all. So that's one OCD cleaned controller. Are you ready? There, dear. Go ahead. Well, a little green lights on in the Xbox, so. And this is flashing still. And it's flash and it's fl yeah, so it's it might need to be re synced. No, it turned on, so that's fine. If if they need to be resynced, they don't. Well, then why is it still flashing? I do not know. No, well, there, there it goes. goes. So it's all good. Xbox controller seems to be put back. To, why don't you move? Well, uh. oh yeah, the projector is not on. Yeah. Where did the projector oh, go? Although I'm Ooh. thinking that we're getting into Netflix. You think? <clears throat> A little bit too much uh, Xbox for the wife, I think. Did the projector actually turn on? No. Of course not. <sighs> Technology, it's always against me. <laughs> there it goes. I like having a projector. It's fun. That's Mass Effect, not oh. uh, not uh, the, 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 the Netflix. Okay. Which is fine. That's fine. <clears throat> Why don't you run it through some Mass Effect paces once it comes up here? As soon as the projector catches up. Yeah. <clears throat> I won't film Mass Effect. I will just look like I'm excited about it. <laughs> Amazing. Well, it seems to move up, down, left, right. And the, and the button works. They don't. Buttons don't stick anymore. You're happy. I. Here. Can I play <clears throat> a little bit of a level before I can give you a? <clears throat> Like, Sorry, I was coughing. What? <laughs> what were you talking about? I, I wanted to play a little bit through a level before I can... 100%. I tell you, these wives, they, they just want to like do things and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I want to go play Ilos. Ilos? Yeah. My most favorite thing in Mass Effect, right there. The Mass Effect the mass relay. relays? They are pretty iconic. Alright. Okay. So... Is this the end? Yeah, this is the end of the game. Yes. So, it's walking around pretty good. Seems to shoot people pretty good. Looks like it works, dear. Looks like we have. I got pause. So and, it, and it didn't stick. And, and it didn't stick. Um, the Y button. Let's see if I can. I don't know what does Y do in Mass Effect. Though. I don't remember. Why? Why? So. So yeah. I wanted to wrap this thing up, but anyways. So here in the cave, we now have one of super clean... We have a super clean Xbox controller. Yay! <laughs> Next week, mine. No, actually, <laughs> actually, we do need to clean mine. You know, mine, we need to take there, apart too. the chat pad. Because there's something wrong with the chat pad, I think. I think it's there's something wrong with the Xbox. It doesn't like the chat pad anymore. Oh, anyways, maybe I'll talk about how much I fr get frustrated with the Xbox later. Anyways. But, but anyways. Successful! Success! Yay! Successful! Bye. <laughs>